Welcome all. Uh, we're just going to have a tour of the Cisco Wireless LAN controller. You can see the page we're actually on if you go to the Cisco website. We've gone through the various um, products available down to wireless LAN controllers and this particular model. So we're going to just look at this model here, the 3504, 3504, however you pronounce it in your country. It's a pretty compact uh, box. It's got some enhanced features. So you can check all the um, sales stuff when you have a look. It supports the latest 802.11 AC Wave 2. Supports um, multi gigabit speed. Uh, the predecessor to this was the 2504. It actually doubles the capacity of that device. Uh, talking about access points, this can control up to 150 access points. Now this kind of stuff isn't in the exam, but they do ask you about the ports and that kind of stuff. So it's well worth looking over the documentation. We'll look at um, what the ports are for, how we connect to them, and how they're used in our existing LAN environment. So in the top left, we can see a RJ45. This is actually the uh, service port. We would uh, connect to this when we were initially setting up the wireless LAN controller. When it first boots up, you can connect to this service uh, port um, here on the top left. You'd connect your PC to this service port uh, directly or through a switch. You can um, get, get an IP address through DHCP and this port will be used to set up the box for the first time. Uh, check the documentation, they all come with documentation or you can uh, download it. Underneath you have an RP port, redundancy port. Uh, as the name suggests, this is used for some kind of redundancy. Now uh, you might be using two boxes instead of one, so check with your network designer to see if you would uh, be connecting to another WLC or not. This depends on how you've got it set up. Now you can connect one uh, a cable from one box to another for high capacity. To the right here you'll see an RJ45, this is a console, you can always tell console because it's coloured light blue as you can see. Uh, just next to this is a mini USB port, this is actually a new addition. So you can uh, get rid of the old style cables where we have the DB9s. If you've been in IT a long time, you've probably shown your age if you uh, know what I'm talking about there. So this can be used for upgrading software if you don't want to uh, load it up via the network for security or other operational reasons. So you can very easily just upgrade it through here. Now just to the right, there's a blue marked RJ45. It's a multi gigabit port. Supplies, uh, supplies up to 5 gig and then there's four other 1 gigabit ports which you would uh, use to connect to your network. Always worth looking at the data sheet. Uh, again, bear in mind you're probably not going to be tested on this particular model but you do need to be familiar with um, features, benefits, the port types and this kind of thing. So it supports multi gigabit ethernet uh, technology uh, 802.11ac wave 2. The Cisco DNA SD access, which is covered in the exam. You've got some scalability stuff here. Uh, previously, the uh, 2504, the earlier model, only had one gigabit throughput. So you can see how um, rapidly this technology is increasing. Mentioned uh, earlier, and you can see for yourself, 150 access points, so huge uh, capacity here. It can actually support up to 3,000 clients. I already mentioned the port earlier, it had a multi-gig Ethernet interface.
the VLANs uh, 4096 VLANs A very quiet box if you if you have it out on a table somewhere which you shouldn't it's fanless technology so there's a heat sink if you've ever worked in a server room you'll appreciate a little bit more quiet uh, supports multi-mode with indoor and outdoor mesh access points yeah I think they talk about mesh topologies in the CCNA syllabus it um, proactively identifies and mitigates signal interference. A simplified GUI is great for non-technical people or if you're feeling a bit lazy, uh, this avoids the CLI mode. The GUI is tested in the exam, not the um, command line. So um, you do command line when you're doing advanced Cisco exams. So you st um, connect your standard LAN cable and you'll get the IP address from DHCP or um, you may have um, a preset IP address on the device, just check the documentation and you'd open that up in a web browser. So you've got a couple of choices to configure. You could do the LAN cable or the console cable and um, supports the Cisco video stream technology, uh, a couple of hot features nowadays. So a whole bunch of stuff and obviously the energy efficiency at the bottom there. And mobility and security management for IPv6 also. Kind of goes without saying, I guess. Uh, about the licensing, uh, supports, uh, as I said, 150 access points. Um, you just need to have uh, licenses to support. There's a few options for the uh, licensing. It's a bit of a nightmare trying to navigate the Cisco licensing model. It used to be easy and now they've um, made it quite difficult. So you can see a few standards here for wired uh, switching and your routing. Um, if you go back to the picture, you'll see a um, four ports just here. They're marked with the uh, yellow band. The last two support power over Ethernet um, on 802.3. Um, so it can support 30 watts per port. Uh, PoE is covered in the um, CCNA syllabus. Loads of security standards, latest encryption, AAA. Uh, really important. These are all, uh, some of them are covered in the exams to so check the syllabus. Um, you can connect with a radio, a radio server, LDAP, Active Directory, TACAX. And for management, you've got SNMP, um, TFTP. You can uh, connect over a uh, web. A web browser. That's actually covered in the CCNA course in CCNA Simplified in the video course as well. And um, that's because it's covered in the exam syllabus. So have a look through the uh, interface information. Not a particular model mentioned in the syllabus, but you kind of can presume it would be the um, latest um, SME size box, which would be this. Got a console port, RJ45, as we mentioned, the mini USB. I think there's some mention of the port types on the syllabus, I just don't have it in front of me at the moment. A couple of LED indicators. I don't think you have to troubleshoot for the CCNA level exam. That would be CCMP and CCIE. Uh, the operating temperatures is standard for every device, really. The uh, acceptable parameters before it either uh, freezes or melts. 
all right so we've had a good overview we'll be doing some more videos so um please watch the next ones on um software and configuration